Hi guys, I'm Christian and I'm a high school senior from Atlanta, Georgia, if you don't know me yet. And recently I was accepted into a lot of prestigious universities like Princeton, Yale, UPenn, Duke, and Columbia. So I just wanted to make a video about all the stats and extracurriculars that got me into these colleges so that it could hopefully help you get into your dream schools. I'd like to give some context about my kind of educational situation before I go into my stats. So I attend a public high school in Marietta, Georgia, which is a suburb around 20-30 minutes away from downtown Atlanta. And my high school is around 2,500 people, though within this public high school, there is this STEM-focused magnet program that's about 500 people. And this draws some of the most like academically talented students from across the county that I'm in. You have to apply to get into school, but it's not extremely competitive and its acceptance rate is probably around 30%. My school offers around 30 AP classes, and as for how it works, we use what's called a block schedule. So I have four classes each semester, which brings me to a total of eight classes each year and 32 classes throughout high school. However, as you see throughout the video when I explain my like grades in my classes, in some instances, instead of taking four classes per semester, I'll take five, where two of those classes are kind of like half classes, and they run through the entire year, so I still end up taking eight classes. My school calculates GPA on a 4.0 scale for unweighted, and a 5.0 scale for weighted, so regular or on-level classes count as a 4.0, however you get half a quality point for honors or what are called magnet classes, which means that you can go up to 4.5 and then for AP and advanced classes you get a full quality point so you can go up to 5 in that part of your GPA. Editing Christian here, I just realized that I forgot to say this in the video but I wanted to add that even though my school has a magnet program we are by no means a feeder school. For example, for Yale, in the past four years we've had 77 people apply and I'm the first person to get in in four years and We've had a similar low number of acceptances each year to Princeton and all the other IVs and MIT. So it's usually maybe like one or two people at most, but that's very different from some other schools where, you know, you have like dozens of people getting into some of these schools. And I just wanted to give that piece of context. For my GPA, my unweighted GPA was a 4.0, so I had all A's, and my weighted GPA was a 4.672. For class rank, my school actually doesn't report class rank, so colleges didn't see it. However, I kind of found out through a very backwards way that at least during the spring of my junior year, so considering up to my fall semester junior year classes, I was number 13 of about maybe 525 to 550 students. So now let's get into my grades. For freshman year, I took- Hey guys, I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel. Currently, I have 478 subscribers, which is a massive increase from my last 92, so I'm super thrilled that you guys have all subscribed to my channel, but we should just keep on building our community even more. I mean, according to YouTube, only 0.5% of my viewers are subscribed, which is crazy. But if all of you guys subscribe, we would go from our current 478 subscribers to 95,600 subscribers, which is literally insane because that's like, I could literally make YouTube my job. So I would really highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed, but back to the video. Honors Ninth Lit, Honors Geometry, Honors Algebra 2, Magnet Chemistry, Magnet Biology, Spanish 1, Orchestra, and AP Computer Science Principles. I got 100 in Honors Lit, uh, a 97 in Honors Geometry, 100 in Algebra 2, 98 in Magnet Chemistry, 98 in Magnet Biology, 100 in Spanish, 100 in Orchestra during both semesters, and a 99 for Computer Science Principles during both semesters. Now let's go to my sophomore year. In my sophomore year, I took Honors World Lit, Accelerated Pre-Calculus, which is kind of like Honors Pre-Calculus, AP Physics 1, AP Chemistry, AP World History, Honors Spanish 2, AP Music Theory, and Orchestra. 
In Honors World Lit, I got a 96 the first semester and a 98 the second semester. In Accelerated Pre-Calculus, I got a 99, got a 97 in AP Physics 1, a 98 in AP Chemistry, 100 in AP World History, 99 in Honors Spanish 2, 99 in AP Music Theory, and 100 in Orchestra for both semesters. During my junior year, I took AP Language, AP Calculus AB, and AP Calculus BC, which before I go into my other classes, I'd like to just kind of clarify. So at my school, instead of just teaching AP Calculus BC as one class, we split it up into two separate classes, AB and BC, where AB is just like your typical Calculus AB, and then the BC that we take in the spring is just the parts of BC that weren't covered in AB. And then I also took AP Computer Science A, AP US History, Orchestra again, Advanced Organic Chemistry, and AP Physics C Mechanics. In AP Language, I got a 96. In AP Calculus AB, I got a 98. AP Calculus BC, I got a 97. In AP Computer Science A, I got a 100. In AP US History, I got 96 the first semester and then 97 second semester. And I got a 100 in both semesters for Orchestra. I got a 96 in Advanced Organic Chemistry and a 96 in AP Physics C Mechanics. Now, going on to my senior year, for my first semester, I took Advanced Scientific Research and Advanced Scientific Internship, and essentially these are two classes that are kind of part of our senior internship capstone experience in my magnet program, and they're weighted as APs. And then I also took AP Microeconomics Orchestra, and then I took Linear Algebra Dual Enrollment through Georgia Tech, and that was also kind of weighted as an AP class. So in Advanced Scientific Research, I got 96. In Advanced Scientific Internship, I got 92. In Microeconomics, I got a 97. In Orchestra, I got 100. And in Linear Algebra, I also got a 97. So this semester, I'm taking um, Dual Enrollment Multivariable Calculus from Georgia Tech AP Physics C, Electricity and Magnetism, AP Government, um, Orchestra, and AP Literature. And these grades aren't seen by colleges for admission, but they do see what classes you're taking, so I just thought I'd list that out. And lastly, this is kind of unimportant, but I also took Personal Fitness and Health over the summer, and in Personal Fitness I got 99, and in Health I got 98. Now let's talk a little bit about my test scores. So I took the SAT twice and I didn't take the ACT, but the first time I took the SAT, I got a 1540. So I got a 770 in both sections. And then I took the SAT again and I got a 1560. I got an 800 in math and a 760 in EBRW. So my combined super score was a 1570. I also took the PSAT and MSQT in my junior year and I got a 1490 and a 1520, which qualified me for national merit. As for my AP exams, I took the 10 AP exams for the 10 AP classes I mentioned earlier, and well, I guess except for AP Calculus AB because I just took the AP Calculus BC exam, but for all of those classes, I scored five on every exam. Now let's talk about my honors. So I reported five honors, though some of these are combined, so it's a little bit more than five. For my first honor, I reported that I was a National Merit Semi-Finalist and a National Hispanic Recognition Program Scholar. I combined these because they were both based off of PSAT scores. For my second honor, I said that I had gotten the Georgia Certificate of Merit, which is awarded to the top 5% of students in the junior year class for any high school in Georgia. So I think that was a good idea just because I didn't have my class rank reported in my comment app because my school like doesn't really report it. So I just put this honor to kind of support that. And then for my third honor, I said that I got Outstanding Achievement Awards in Calculus, Pre-Calculus, and Ninth Literature. And at my school, these are basically awards that are awarded to, I really said awards that are awarded to, anyway, these awards are given to one student in each of these subject areas. So I thought that was pretty special. And I kind of explained that context that I just explained to you guys in the additional information section, because for your honors, the kind of like word count is very limited or character count. Now for my fourth honor, I said National Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and English Honor Society for which I was president during my junior year. 
and Free National Honor Society, I was a member my senior year, Science National Honor Society, my junior and senior years, and so on. For my fifth honor, I said that I got a community service letter my junior and senior year, an orchestra letter my junior year, and an academic letter my sophomore, junior, and senior year. And basically for the community service and academic letter, these letters are awarded the year after you earned them, so that's why I didn't like get an academic letter my freshman year because I got it my 10th grade year for my freshman year. And just for some context, community service letter is awarded for students that get up to 45 service hours in a year, or I mean at least 45 service hours in a year because at my school service isn't required to graduate. And orchestra is just kind of like a point system awarded for a lot of participation in the orchestra. And academic letter is just for getting a 4.0. So I'm not really sure why I included, but I was like, why not? Now let's get into the juicy stuff, so my activities. So for my activities, I reported 10 of them, and a big part of my activities was both being a very STEM-oriented person that's going to pursue physics with a kind of specialty in quantum computation, and the other side of that was that I've been playing cello for 10 years, so I kind of tried to split my activities halfway between both. So, and also I would like to add, I kind of rank them by prestige, which I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. I've heard it's better to do based on how important it is to you, but it still worked out for me. So I guess it's not like, it's not really that deep. So for my first activity, I listed my semester, which is this MIT program, it stands for MIT Introduction to Technology, Engineering and Science. And essentially it's just like, online program that starts in June before your senior year and goes through December. It's a STEM program and it's kind of directed towards like underrepresented and underserved students, but we take two classes in the summer portion and then we kind of get some like college help going through it. It's quite prestigious, so that's why I listed as my first honor. I believe the acceptance rate is around 8% and a lot of students, probably like 90%, go on to attend like top 10s or 20s. So. I feel like this was a big part of my application, and I talked about it more in my essay, so if you guys are interested in hearing more, I would love to talk about it in another video. Um, just to be specific, for my leadership description, I said quantum computation and science writing scholar, since those were the two classes I took. And for my activity description, I said program Superdance coding protocol on IBM's quantum computers presented at final symposium. Interviewed MIT and Yale researchers for Qubit article. For my second activity, I did National Youth Orchestra 2, for which I was a symphony and quintet cellist. National Youth Orchestra is a Carnegie Hall program that draws musicians from across the country, and it's really kind of like the best orchestra program in the country, or really summer pro program that you can do. Well, I guess there's some festivals, but it's like very, very good, so that's why I put it up here. And although technically like National Youth Orchestra of the United States of America is like the top one. National Youth Orchestra 2 is still like kind of hard to get into so that's why I put this here. And for my description, I said one of nine cellists chosen in the US performed at Carnegie Hall in the Dominican Republic and the soloists, jazz artists, and young students, tuition free. And I did this the summer before my senior year so I kind of did it simultaneously while I was doing my semester which was kind of difficult but I might talk about it in a future video. For my third activity, I listed the Atlanta Symphony Youth Orchestra that I'm a part of, and I said for my leadership description that I was a student leader, I was involved in chamber players, and I was a symphony cellist. So we have a student leadership program, so that's why I said student leader, and chamber players is kind of like our team music program with the ASYL. And for my description, I said discuss ways to improve ASYL with peers, learn and premiere works by diverse composers with the most competitive youth orchestra in the Southeast and I've participated in ASYO for junior and senior year. For my fourth activity, I listed a research internship that I did at the Glass Laboratory at Kennesaw State University's Department of Physics. And for my description, I just said research intern under the professor I interned for. And for my description, I said read 20 plus papers on Glass, performed differential thermal analysis experiments on samples with mentor and undergraduates, analyzed peaks with software. And I pursued this internship the fall semester of my senior year. For my fifth activity, I stated the governor's school that I attended in my state. It's called Georgia Governor's Honors Program, and 
I was a cello major at Nature vs. Nurture Minor, which was basically this class where you would do dance, fitness, and hiking. It was really cool. Um, that's besides the point, though. For my description, I said one of five cellists chosen in Georgia, performed five concerts and recitals as an orchestra, quartet, and solo cellists, played for Wendy Warner in master class. And I did this the summer before my junior year. For my sixth activity, I stated a nonprofit that I'm a part of, the Dora Me Project, which focuses on giving free virtual lessons to students across the country. And my role within it is a recruitment director and also a cello tutor. For my description, I said recruit tutors and students from local orchestras and schools, tutor tell us online, create practice plans for students, perform at virtual recitals. And I've been a part of the Dora Me Project for my junior and senior years. For my seventh activity, I put the Triumph Music Honor Society on my school, which I'm the president of, and last year I was the communications officer for. So for my description, I said lead monthly meetings, oversee officers, spearhead volunteering initiatives at local elementary schools and senior homes, host monthly social events. And I participated in this from my sophomore to senior year. For my eighth activity, I said Magnet Ambassadors, which is basically this outreach program for the Magnet program at my school. And this year I was co-president of it. Last year I was a leadership team member and I participated in it from my sophomore through senior year. For my description, I said organize socials and operate 100 plus member Facebook group for prospective Wheeler Magnet families, answer parent questions, guide and bond with students. For my ninth activity, I just put all state orchestra and I said as a full orchestra cellist. For my description, I said prepared challenging hour-long concerts by intensively rehearsing for three days alongside top Georgia high school musicians and renowned conductors. I participated in all state orchestra in my sophomore and junior years and also my senior year, but I hadn't known that when I was submitting my application. My last activity is that I briefly worked as a mathnasium tutor at the end of my junior year and into the summer before my senior year and my position was mathematics tutor. I said that I taught K-12 students behind grade level in math, communicated with directors and fellow instructors, learned to balance multiple students at once. I would like to add that after I submitted my applications, I got some more accolades, so I sent update letters to almost all of my universities. I first included that I applied to and was accepted to become a junior editor for a high school research journal, and I also participated in the MIT Quantum Hackathon in 2024 after applying and getting accepted. And lastly, I qualified for the final round of a music competition that I didn't compete in because it cost money, which is kind of sketchy. It was the Charleston International Music Competition 2024 Classical Music Competition. And I also included that I was selected as the assistant principal cellist of my 2024 All-State Full Orchestra. So that's it for my stats and extracurriculars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and continue staying tuned for more college related content as well as some other lifestyle content and just everything that I feel like uploading over the next few months and hopefully this channel stays around for some years. Bombastic but yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.